Hi, I'm Keely, also known as Kelly. And I'm Feely, also known as Alex. Welcome to our corner of the Shire, where we will show you how to bring Middle Earth into your daily life to keep you a happy, happy hobbit. hobbit. Welcome to this episode of Happy Hobbit where we are going to learn how to make strawberry wine. Now this process takes a few weeks, but to start with you're going to need uh, three to four pounds of fresh ripe strawberries. Now, ignore the peacock. When you pick your strawberries, what you're going to want to do is buy a little extra than you think you need because what you're going to find is some strawberries have blemishes and some strawberries have mold and that could introduce outside yeast, which you really don't want in your wine. So, um, I picked through these strawberries and picked only the best ones. And I cut the tops off, and I blasted them off with the hose. And now here they are, ready to be mashed. Uh, for this first stage of the wine, the second thing you're going to need is two and a half pounds of sugar. And, and a gallon of water that has been boiled. So there's some water boiling behind me on the stove start things off with, we're going to mash the strawberries. Now I hear a rumor that some hobbits like to do this with their feet because it adds a little extra flavor. I'm not about to try that because I don't wear shoes. My feet are nasty. So I'm going to use a more sanitary method. Yeah. Oh, it smells like Samwise's it cream puff. incredible. Oh, wow! Is this what Sam's house smells like all day? I don't think so. Not with Sam's diet. He likes his cabbage too much. Sure. <laughs> he breaks wind a little too often. Wow, look at this. Oh my gosh. So how juicy do you want this? Till there's no whole strawberries left? You just mash them. Yeah, you mash them. See, what you're doing by mashing is, is you're extricating the juice. And the fruit juice, the fructose, which is the natural, the natural sugar in the fruit juice, is what is going to feed the yeast and prompt the fermentation process. So you really want to get as much juice out of these babies as you can. Man, there's some, some are trying to escape. I hide it on the sides. I won't let them. I'm an equal opportunity smasher. Alright, so now that the strawberries are good and mashed and just smell heavenly, it's time to transfer the strawberries into the crock pot. Which I forgot to tell you, you're gonna need a crock pot. And a big one too. So this one holds up to a gallon, which I'm counting on. Save this for later, don't tell Philly. So you put the strawberries in there and the sugar. And you're also going to want to put in either two teaspoons of lemon juice or citric, citric acid. I went with citric acid just because I went to the brew store today and they had some. So I'm going to put in two teaspoons of that. You can see it's a crystalline substance, blends right in with the sugar, but I doubt you'd want to put it, you know, in your baked goods. Might turn out a little unique. Then we're going to add the one gallon of boiled water on top of this and dissolve as much of the sugar and, and such as we can. So this is going to be a unique experience. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh, that just fogged up the lens. Oops. Sorry, folks. Oh, look at that juice fest. So I'm oh my gosh. Well, this. Oh my god, it oh just moves gosh, his one. To him. It's speaking. Why does it move his one? Okay, well, that's about four point pints of water. That's all we're probably going to get in there. You stir it to dissolve as much of the mixture as possible. So I can, I can feel with the potato masher, which you know every hobbit has in their kitchen, to feel for pockets of sugar and I'm just kind of mixing. So I've got it all in the crock pot, I put it on low. And you're gonna monitor the temperature of this and you're not gonna add your wine yeast 
until it's at about 85 degrees. Um, anything above 100 degrees is hot enough to kill yeast, and you don't want to do that, as you've learned in our other brewing episodes. Killing yeast is bad. So, we're just going to check on this in a couple minutes. So now that the strawberry and sugar mixture is around 80 degrees, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a teaspoon of yeast nutrient. And I'm doing this because what happens when you heat fruit is um, the fruit starts to break down and you lose a little bit of that, the natural sugars there. So this is just ensuring, extra extra ensuring that the yeast is going to have something to gobble up in there. Next I'm going to add a teaspoon of yeast. So this is Red Star Wine Yeast. And the benefit of this one is that it will um, not eat up all of the sugar and so it will leave you with a little bit of sweetness in your wine. Um, however, of course, as we've discovered with the cider and everything, sometimes you still have to back sweeten stuff anyway. So here is a teaspoon. Like, look, these are little microorganisms. How weird is that? Wow. All right. I'm going to sprinkle this in. And the crock pot is off, by the way. In fact, I'm not entirely sure why this recipe requires a crock pot, other than the cooling will just happen slower than it would in a metal pot, because it's insulated. Um, because you certainly don't want to have this plugged in the whole time. If it gets over about 120 or so, um, that's hot enough to kill the yeast. And then there's no point. Well, I suppose you could still eat this as like a topping on your ice cream or something. So I'm going to stir this in, and once it's all mixed well, I'm going to replace the lid. And you will let this stay in the crock pot for a week. However, every day you're going to come along and you're going to stir this mixture. And we'll check back after a week. Alright, so it's been a week, and that means it's time to separate the solids from the liquids in our strawberry wine. To start with, I've taken a glass carboy. This is a one gallon carboy. And um, I've sanitized it with star sand and just let it air dry. I've sanitized all this stuff, actually, I should say. So I'm gonna put a funnel in there. And to strain it, I'm gonna take a cheesecloth that I've also sanitized and just lay it down in there. So you just kind of make a funnel with the cheesecloth. And have a look at our strawberry stuff. It smells unique. So these are all the solids that have floated to the top. You break that layer, you will see some pink juice underneath. What does it smell like? It smells good. Here, just mm. listen to the yeast gas bubbles. Oh, it smells like strawberry sauce. Okay, so here we go. Just gonna take a ladle full. And yes, I am technically contaminating stuff by touching everything with my hands and my fingers. But uh, when our ancestors made this, it was not an exact science and somehow they still survived drinking their wine, so. So you can tell I'm not too picky. And it's draining through the cloth. slowly. Now you'll see that this liquid is still very chalky and that's because the yeast is still in there fermenting. Um, all I'm doing really is separating the, the fruit from the juice in the, at this point in time. So uh, it's okay if it's still totally murky right now. Um, this is not wine that we're going to be drinking yet. So to help it along, I realize I say so at the start of every scene after editing last episode. I'm gonna hold it up and just gently with my hand I'm gonna squeeze out some of that juice. This way I'm gonna get as much fruit juice as I can from the strawberries. So 
So you take the solid then out of your cheesecloth, just dump it into a bowl or something that you're going to take to your compost. And what's already in there is a bunch of berries that have been slopped. So this is a little bit of a painstaking process, but I'm hoping that the final product will be worth it. So it's been about a month, and as you can tell, the strawberry wine has changed in color. Um, it's not quite as chalky as it used to be, it's a lot more clear. And there's a whole layer down here of dead yeast that's called the yeast cake. But um, since I was not 100% successful in getting out all the solids, which is really difficult to do with strawberries, um, some of this is strawberry solids at the bottom as well. Um, as you can see from the little bubbles here, it is still fermenting, the yeast is still doing its work. And I, what I'm about to do is rack the wine. Rack the wine. Racking the wine means taking it from, siphoning it from one bottle to another. So I have another sanitized one gallon glass bottle here. And um, I've sanitized the tubing and all that stuff. So I'm going to, as carefully as I can, siphon the liquid from the top of the bottle into this one because I don't want any of these solids, or I want as little of those solids to get into my uh, new bottle as possible. And once this one's empty, I can clean it and use it for something else. Remove the airlock. The only way to start the suction is for me to do something really unsanitary. I think I can do it with my Alright, I'm gonna have to. A little bit. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. This is not working. Mm -mm. It only goes a tiny bit. And it stops. Is this wine going to get sanitized again or not? The wine? No. So it's just going to get your chin? Well, I'm only touching the outside of the tube. Here, stop filming. It's still not coming. It just stops at a certain point. Wait. It, it, it can't get enough suction. You can't just pour it? I can try it just with the tube. No, I can't pour it because that will get all the solids in. Oh, come on. I saw a beetle on a lady's back today and I didn't tell her. I'm going to hell. I saw a Sheldon. I saw a squirrel <laughs> buy one of his plants, like intently either like chewing on the sprinkler, drinking from it, or eating his plant, and I didn't say nothing. Oh. I can tell you when I see it coming full. Smells really good. Guess that air bubble in between. This is disgusting. Like I wait. Okay, here we go. Shh. I lost it. You can do it again, though. Don't breathe, don't move. I just got a mouthful. How's it taste? Tangy. I can still taste a hint of strawberry. Smells really good. Okay, this is going really fast. Heck yeah. Um, it's just kind of difficult for me to... And I'm sucking up some of the solids, but I can't help it. This is why you're supposed to use this little
Keely unleashed. But it won't let me, like I'm gonna have to. So Keely has just bottled some of her blackberry wine, as you can see. Now it's time for the strawberry, and as you can see by the shirt I'm wearing, it's Christmas time. And when I started this process, it was July. And her Thranduil antlers. Because it's like Thranduil wine. It is. You're just trying to be, it's not like you're trying to be festive for Christmas, it's for Thranduil, duh. It's like Thranmas. Compared to this. Looks so good. Like, look how dark the blackberry wine turned out. It's like blood from a battle. So, this is the last step. You bottle it. So, this has been brewing for several months. And I'm going to put in these bottles, and then it can sit in the bottles for several more months if I want. But I'm having a solstice celebration, so we're going to drink some of it. And like you know, Thranduil wood. I was gonna say, and if you do it with like Thranduil antlers at the same time, it makes it taste extra good. So these bottles have been put through the dishwasher and sterilized with star sand. So that's the little bit of suds you see. God, it looks like like a really good Capri Sun. It's gonna taste delicious. We'll see. <laughs> Look, Keely Serenable's moose. His moose died. Or I, know. Fell. I don't know if it's dead. Does Kitty want wine? What do you think, Conrad? You are kind of Thranduilian sometimes. All cats are secretly elves. Let's face it, Thranduil is kind of the classic egotistical cat. True. So smug. The goat degree. The goat degree or disagree, I can't tell. <laughs> One gallon glass bottle that I'm. Oh. <laughs> Who's this Chichi? Who's this Chichi? Who's this Chichi? That looks like guts. Berries do. The strawberries look like. I don't know. This will make your kitchen smell like a delicious strawberry fest. There's a fest I'd like to go to. Strawberry fest. Yeah. All strawberries, all the time. Strawberry music festival ought to incorporate that. Baby Gentoli! Bofur, excuse him. Why is Bofur always texting? I don't know, I swear he senses we're both making Happy Hobbit. And he gets jealous even though he doesn't want you. He wants to be a part of it, but doesn't. Yeah, that's good. It just seems like Look at him bubbling, it's like a butthole! Sorry. <laughs> Keely has a potty mouth, I shouldn't be allowed in public. We're gonna let this- Look at that jack, see! <laughs> like, I've made one of the stupidest mistakes I've ever done. What? <laughs> Taylor, you're gonna kill yourself! 
he knows she's not allowed I in the know, garden, the so he's not. the cat's supposed to be in the garden, or the peacock, or the dog. So you would think it's not fair that he's in I there. I know it's not fair, but you know what? You need to leave it alone right now. Just forget about it. It's in the wilderness. Leave okay, yeah, you don't really want to climb up there, Conrad. But no, go let ahead him, and try. let him. Go ahead, jump up there, Connie. <laughs> see see what it is. I just want to see. Splash. I really want him to. Do. Wait, I'm filming. Wait, mom, mom, watch. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't what you thought it was, was it? <laughs> I think I got it on there. Oh, it smells like strawberry. Shortcake. Oh my gosh, you could take a bath in that. It's like when we were in the store today, I saw these candles, and there was like a candle that smelled like vanilla, and then a candle that smelled like grape, and it smelled like grape candy. And I was like, why would you do that? Why would you torture yourself by smelling like all these wonderful things to eat, but you can't actually eat them because it's wax and it's a candle? It's like lip balm that's cherry flavored. That didn't stop my little brother from eating it. I don't think hobbits have these problems. They just eat real strawberries. 